Drowning is actually an epidemic here, and it has been for a number of years because of the high number of swimming pools that we have here. Are you taking the proper drowning precautions to keep you and your loved ones safe? This is News 3 at Noon with Sue Manteras and Scott Hawes. And welcome to News 3. I'm Shara Kimiko in for Sue Manteras. As the Labor Day weekend draws near an important warning for parents, keep a close eye on your kids if they plan on cooling off in the water. That's exactly right. Experts warn drownings are the number two killer of children right here in southern Nevada. In a matter of seconds, summer fun can turn deadly. Ben Correa joins us live from the northwest part of the valley. Ben, the key to having fun in the water, constant supervision. Scott, you're right, and that's the message the Clark County Safe Kids Coalition want to stress. If your kids play in a pool just like the one you see right behind me, you need to keep a close eye on them. On top of that, if you have a pool in the backyard like, a, like this house does, you have to have some sort of perimeter around this pool like this iron fence, which you can padlock in bars that are so close that your children cannot slip through. Some safety tips so your family can have a drown-proof Labor Day weekend. Actually, children drown in residential swimming pools for the most part, but they swim in apartment swimming pools. They drown in the lake, they drown in bathtubs, they drown in ponds and in buckets. Taking a dip in the pool is a great way to beat the heat, but if kids aren't careful, swimming in a pool like this could turn deadly. Drowning is the number two killer of children four years and younger in southern Nevada. Most people don't know that. So far this year, six children drowned in Clark County. All could have been prevented. For all the layers of protection we put up, the most important are your two eyes and your ears because constant adult supervision is the number one key to preventing this tragedy. No doubt some good advice if you do have a door like the one you are seeing right now that leads to a pool. It's also a good idea to put an alarm on that door so you can hear if any kid happens to escape from that door and walk right behind me and slip into the pool. And if that does happen, experts say it takes seconds and usually you will not hear what they call a silent drowning. Some important tips and hopefully you and your family could have a very safe and fun holiday weekend because Scott, we know it's going to be hot. Reporting live from the northwest part of the valley, Ben Correa, back to you. You're exactly right, Ben. Some great tips. Thank you. Aside from paying attention to your kids while they are in the water or around the water, it's also a good idea to get your kids involved in a water safety class and make sure you are CPR certified or whoever is watching your children. For information, you can call the Red Cross at 791-3311. At least four years in prison. That's how long a man who pleaded guilty to running over and killing a bicyclist last year will spend behind bars. Lance Dunn was charged with reckless driving and leaving the scene of a deadly accident. Originally, Dunn was facing murder charges in the February 2000 death of Nicholas Clapp. Police say Dunn and Clapp got into an argument near Rainbow and Oki. They say Dunn put his truck in reverse and ran over Clapp in a fit of road rage. Dunn will be sentenced by the judge. He now faces 4 to 15 years behind bars. A 22-year-old tourist from Chicago will spend the next six years in a Nevada prison. Prosecutors say Melissa Bebo was rushing to catch a flight after a night of drinking when she caused an accident that killed a husband and wife on I-15 back in January. Yesterday afternoon, she pleaded guilty to two counts of felony drunk driving. For now, Bebo will remain free on $250,000 bail until she is formally sentenced in October. Coming up in the next half hour of News 3 at noon, you will hear from the son of the couple that died in that crash. A major settlement for two girls whose stepfather killed their mother. The girls were awarded a $400,000 settlement from Metro Police Department. The girl's stepfather, Ronnie Norman, shot and killed their mother, Judy, and then himself in December of 1997. A police investigation found Officer Tony Williams neglected his duty when he did not take Norman's gun or kick him out of the house while he was serving a protective order just one hour before the murder-suicide. Williams was fired shortly after that incident. A local nine-year-old boy is going through a similar situation. His parents both died in a fire that police say may have been a murder-suicide earlier this month. The Las Vegas community is showing nine-year-old Alex Molina he has a lot of support. The bodies of Molina's parents were found badly burned after an explosion and fire at this home on Parker Ranch Drive back on August 6th. Alex was staying with relatives at the time. Last night, his mother's co-workers at the MGM Grand organized a fundraiser for Alex. A number of local casinos and businesses paid for the event, and MGM's Heroes of Rock and Roll provided the entertainment. 
Um, we love Judy and uh, we wanted to do something for her son Alex and this is a tremendous way to, to, to make a positive thing out of, out of a tragedy. A fund has been set up for Alex. You can go to any Wells Fargo bank to donate. We have some good news for Nevada students just before they head back to school. High school seniors here in the Silver State scored above the national average in this year's SAT college entrance exams. Across the country, there were signs of improvement in test scores. This year's scores averaged 506 in the verbal section. That's higher than last year's. Not much change, however, when it came to the area of math that still remains at 514. Nevada students scored just a bit higher than the national average on both math and verbal. And as SAT scores go up, some teachers across the country are fighting a plan by the Bush administration to make standardized testing a priority. Not everyone agrees it is the best way to improve the quality of education. We have to ensure that we aren't just raising a generation of good test takers, but that we truly are educating our, our children to take the knowledge they learn and apply it in the real world. Many teachers say the pressure to raise test scores to meet federal guidelines limits what students learn, but leaders in Washington say it's the best way to identify failing schools. 48 states have some form of standardized testing, including here in Nevada. Here, students in 4th, 8th, and 10th grade are tested. Las Vegas may be setting world records again. The Valley's tallest building may soon become the home of the world's tallest and fastest roller coaster. This is the roller coaster at Sahara, but just north of there, big plans are in the works to build a 740-foot coaster that would go twice as fast as this speed roller coaster at the Sahara. The roller coaster would be built alongside the Stratosphere Tower. The ride would go over Las Vegas Boulevard and listen to this, reach a top speed of more than 120 miles per hour. People who live near the hotel are not happy with the idea. They say the roller coaster would be just too loud. About 90 of the neighbors held a meeting last night to discuss ways to block the move. They plan on signing petitions and handing out flyers. A Stratosphere spokesperson says many of the neighbors' concerns will be addressed at next week's City Planning Commission meeting. The proposal must still be approved by the Las Vegas City Council as well. 120 miles an hour. What's the fastest one? Isn't that, is that in Ohio? 75, 80, like somewhere around. 100 miles? It was just a few years ago that 60 miles an hour on a roller coaster and, was unheard of. And it's going straight down. It's not, not right. just, you know, The winding. big shot is, yeah. is enough That's excitement great. for me. Exactly. Oh, John so. Fredericks, you're a big coaster <laughs> fan. I know that. But this is uh, 120. It's oh, impressive. Holy smokes. I, I know. I got nauseous watching Sherry just do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Actually, I think Desperado out of Prim for a long time was the fastest at about 85 to 87 miles per hour. Actually, you know what? Cedar Point at Magnum, I think, is what Allison was just telling us. Okay. Let's spend a few minutes in our <laughs> I just heard that in my ear, but Allison I'm, was telling me. Yeah, I'm even confused further because I got passes to go see the coasters. They're uh, over at the New York, New York. <laughs> oh, that different kind. Okay, they're with the platters and the marvelettes. In fact, platter is going to be here a little while, and we do have a live studio audience we're going to introduce you to in a little bit as well. Right now, a couple of uh, fair weather cumulus clouds hanging over the mountains, and right now it is a bit on the breezy side. Not as hot as it has been. Of course, there's always a trade-off. 98 degrees, 22 percent humidity. Are they coming to town as well? Southeast breeze 16, <laughs> gusting to 20 foot, 98 degree. Uh, barometer falling 29.77. Too many thoughts to process on my first day back. But I'll see if I can slap it all together. We will have a wonderful prize package. Uh, I told you about some of it with the Fredericks fact. And we'll talk about your Labor Day weekend as well. Shara, Scott. John, thank you. An early morning fire rages out of control. Coming up, find out what caused this blaze that sent two firefighters to the hospital. And find out the latest on a wildfire that is causing major evacuations in one western town. That's coming up on News 3 at noon, where news comes first. I'm Nina Radatich. Stem cell research has been a hot topic in the news, and today one young girl may get a second chance at life because of it. Heard me yelling in the office, and I got the email that said it was a match. How stem cells are saving lives today at four. Seems the older I get, the more I appreciate the simple things, like this beautiful day. And I'm not about to let having diabetes slow me down. Thank goodness Medicare reimburses for diabetes testing supplies. But getting my supplies wasn't always so simple. Making special trips, waiting to be reimbursed, those confusing forms. 
even finding the supplies I wanted. Thanks to Matria Healthcare, now I'm spending less time at the pharmacy and more time doing what I want to do. Matria delivers the testing supplies I want right to my door, with no forms to fill out and no upfront expenses. Why, with Matria Healthcare, getting my supplies is easy. If you have diabetes, are 65 or over and on Medicare, Matria Healthcare can make getting your testing supplies a lot simpler too. Call Matria Healthcare today and choose the testing supplies you need with no confusing forms to fill out, no upfront costs, and your shipping is free. But Matria gives you more than just brand name supplies. Call Matria Healthcare now and you will also have your own highly trained personal care coordinator. Someone who will get to know you, the supplies you need, your testing schedule, and the brands you prefer. Matria Healthcare has been in business over 25 years. That's experience you can trust, and your satisfaction's always guaranteed. Sign up now and get this free welcome kit with a Medicare coverage guide, a logbook for tracking your blood sugar, and delicious recipes. You know, having diabetes isn't simple. But with Matria Healthcare, getting my supplies is. Get your testing supplies delivered free with no forms or upfront costs, plus a free welcome kit. Call Matria Healthcare today. This portion of the news is brought to you by the 11 Desert Automotive Group dealerships. Price, service, selection, it's guaranteed. You're watching Southern Nevada's number one choice for news. This is News 3 at noon. After a rough morning, firefighters have controlled a blaze in a Chicago chemical plant. Now look at these pictures. The flames leaping more than 100 feet into the air from the plant on the city's south side. A large plume of black smoke could be seen for miles. The city's fire commissioner says two firefighters who were struck by a broken hose received minor injuries. No one else was hurt. The plant had been closed since late yesterday afternoon. The cause of this fire has not yet been determined. More wildfires are threatening the west and a big wildfire in a small town in northern California has forced about a thousand people from their homes. Today it's burning in Weaverville, California, about 200 miles from Sacramento. As Shelley Smith explains, firefighters say it's going to be tough to put out. Flames licked at the remains of three homes destroyed in a raging wildfire that ripped through the northern California town of Weaverville overnight. A third of the residents here have been evacuated along with patients at the local hospital and inmates at the county jail. The fire flanked itself on each side of the town, forcing firefighters to battle it on two fronts. The flames spanned by 30 mile per hour winds, which have now died down. We could see the smoke and it was very close and very too close. And, uh, but it looked like uh, not structural fire. It looked just like brush fire. And then within fairly short time, it got much darker, and we knew, we knew there must be buildings involved. We're real concerned tomorrow. The winds were blowing 25 miles per hour out of the west today when this fire started, and they're predicted to come up tomorrow afternoon at the same velocity. And uh, so we're far from out of the woods on this. Fire officials report the blaze now 20% contained. The fire has laid down. One of the biggest problems today, downed power lines. Two-thirds of the town's electricity turned off. Officials hoping to let some residents back in their homes by noon today. That was Shelley Smith reporting. In all, 26 wildfires are burning more than 200,000 acres in six western states. It is unusual to see the sight of a bear in a town, more or less a city. We're coming to find out why a group, not just one, but a group of bears, is not only Shelley. in a city, but oh, having some meals right there in the trash cans. There's a, um, hey, I've been doing some checking on the world's fastest roller coaster. I'll have that, your forecast, and the Frederick's Fact. It's all coming up next year on News 3 at noon, where news comes first. She came through the bathroom with me. Hi! Come on, man.
is your chance to see Las Vegas' Entertainer of the Year for just $25. I'm Kendall Tenney. Danny Gans is holding a special performance to say thank you to Las Vegas and to help support the Junior Golf Academy at Callaway, as well as a charity that's close to my heart, the Make-A-Wish Foundation of Southern Nevada. Just sing your name, address, and phone number to this address or register online. If your name is drawn, you'll be eligible to buy tickets to this special charity performance. This summer, power is in short supply. We can't afford to waste a watt. While you may think that you can only save power by turning off lights, you can also help by saving water. Why? Because it takes as much power to treat and deliver a one-day supply of water as it does to power 50,000 homes. By saving water, you not only conserve a natural resource, you free up energy for you and your neighbors. Save water, save power. A community service message from the Southern Nevada Water Authority. Attention! Home Life Furniture is going out of business. By bankruptcy court order, all famous maker furniture, mattresses, and oriental rugs in Home Life's multi-million dollar inventory must be sold immediately at total liquidation prices. Every living room, dining room, bedroom, and more must be sacrificed. Everything must go, and it will go quickly. Bring your truck or trailer and take your purchase with you. Cash and bank cards only. Home Life's doors will close soon and forever. Not just a sale, total liquidation prices. Total liquidation savings at Home Life Furniture. You can store all this at public storage and move in for just $10. You can store all this at public storage and still move in for just $10. No matter how much space you need, just $10 gets you in. Call 1-800-44-STORE today for a convenient location near you. Residents of a small Romanian city are finding the crowds at local trash dumps unbearable. Sorry about that. The trash bins have become uh -huh. feeding grounds for dozens of bears from the nearby mountains. Take a look at these pictures. Families of brown bears are feeding at the trash dumps every night. Local residents think the lids are being left open intentionally to attract bears and bear watchers who spend money in local shops. Bad. Now, police say the bears feeding at the dumps are often mothers with young cubs. Not a good thing because they're typically the most aggressive and dangerous type of bears. They're now worried that more attacks of bear watchers may be just around the corner. One of our longtime neighbors is sharing his talents around the neighborhood in a special way. It's time again for the Danny Gans Local Appreciation Night. Proceeds from the show will benefit the Junior Golf Academy and the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Tickets are just $25 a piece and because they are so cheap, you have to win the chance to buy them. Here's how. Just send your name, address, and phone number to the Danny Gans Junior Golf Academy. The address is on your screen. It is 3590 East Patrick Lane. That is Suite B in Las Vegas, 89120. If you missed all that, don't worry. You can go online and log on to kvbc.com and click on the Danny Gans story, which is on our homepage. Winners will be drawn the week of September 17th. What a great idea. And last year... Oh, my goodness. I know. Last I talked year. to someone who actually worked the ticket office there and said it was crazy, the lines of people just trying to get these... Trying uh, to get the free tickets. Discount tickets. That's why they're doing it this way this He's year. He's fantastic, though. He is why not? great Wait to for watch. Him. We like to watch John Fredericks occasionally around here. We get that chance several times throughout the day, and here's your chance. Well, there's something you, you, you just wait for bated breath for, don't you? <laughs> with bated breath. Our for. hero. There you go. Fish on the tongue, and here I am. All right, we've got uh, some uh, fair weather cumulus clouds. We've got some fabulous looking kids in the studio we're going to introduce you to in just a moment. You can see the Rio cam getting slapped around there just a little bit. We've got a southeast breeze at 16, gusting to 24 and currently 98 degrees out of McCarran, 22% humidity, barometer falling. And before we go any further, we want to uh, welcome Pack 110 Cub Scouts. Don't see any, we don't have any Girl Scouts, do we? Nope, just all Cub Scouts. There they are right there. You're on that camera over there with the red light on. Wave, hi mom, <laughs> hi dad. Say hi Say to hello. your girlfriend. <laughs> oh, that got him, that got him, all right. It's okay. So you can admit you like girls. That's an okay thing at this age. No? <laughs> they were shaking their No, no, we don't like girls. Nah. Spring Mountain and Jones, 95 degrees. We got an east breeze at zero. That'd be calm in my book. 20% humidity, barometer 2994. Let's uh, look at some other numbers around the valley and uh, maybe a little bit further out. Not necessarily around the world, but certainly 
uh, around the Mount Charleston and Lake Mead and the uh, Mesquite area over the Hump and Pahrump. Temperature readings fly it in there. There we go, 95, 72 up in the mountain, 104 Laughlin, 88 Boulder City, and look at that, 107 right now at the security office up at the uh, Casablanca and Mesquite. 96 on the Strip, 94 Spring Valley, 93 at the Regent Las Vegas and Summerlin, 98 in Henderson, 98 East Las Vegas. How old are all you guys? Eight? Eight. Eight. Double Man, digits. They grow them big these days, don't they? <laughs> no, they're as tall as we are. I'm telling you. 103, your afternoon high temperature today after yesterday's 109. So, yes, a cooling trend. And look at that, kids. Uh, just in time for back to school, 100 degrees. That's okay, isn't it? Are, they, are you excited All to right. go back to school? They, they've learned that silence is golden. They're getting rich over there. All right. Uh, locally breezy in the afternoon hours. Beautiful nights. And, yes, temperatures uh, are going to start cooling down in the nighttime as well. 76 uh, tonight's overnight low after this morning's 83. That's more than 10 degrees above average. That's because yesterday we hit 109 officially. The average is 100. We'll be back there by tomorrow. So I got back just in time to give you the good news, unless you like the hot stuff. And uh, then again, you can always go to, well, Mesquite, Laughlin. It's always 5 to 10 degrees hotter there as well. Anyway, let's talk about what's happening across the rest of the country. We're going to get you all the way through the national forecast and this hour's edition of the Fredericks Fact and have a wonderful prize package. The jet stream has been blocking all the up to the north in Canada. That's typical because as the Earth rotates on its axis in the summer, it, uh, the jet stream rides further north. However, we're seeing a dip in the jet stream and a series of cold fronts will slip through and what they will do for us is provide us, no, not rain, but wind and cooler temperatures. That right there is the trouble in the nation. You can bet on it. We've got some serious rain and flooding going down uh, in southern Texas and also in southwestern uh, Louisiana. You can see this just big blob of moisture right here. Some of it trailing all the way up into the southeast. And this is that monsoon-related stuff, not tropical in, nation, in nature. Well, it is tropical in nature, but we're not looking at tropical development here. Just a lot of rain. Other than that, we've got flash flood watches across much of Texas and into southern Louisiana. Nothing going on across the rest of the nation right now. That's good news. Warm, as you might expect, across much of the south, but not as warm as it could be or has been. Beautiful 82 in New York City, 98 here, 68 in Los Angeles. That's along the coast at LAX, 98 currently in Phoenix. All right, we have got a fabulous prize package for this hour's edition of the Fredericks Fact. Kids, I know you all grew up listening to the platters and the coasters and the marbles. They're all over the New York, and I have four passes. In fact, the platters are going to be here in our studio uh, in a little while. On a clear day, you can see five states from the Empire State Building in New York. The states include New Jersey, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and which is the fifth? On a clear uh, day, you can see five states from the Empire State Building, New Jersey, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and which one is the fifth? Call us, 657-3425. Four tickets to go see the wonderful show over at the New York, New York, including the Platters, Cornell Gunther's Coasters, and the Marvelettes, and a gift certificate for the Western Legends Roundup. This includes a night stay, tickets. This is all going on in Kanab, Utah. I'm going to tell you more about this in the next half hour. There's a telephone number on your screen. Kids, thanks for coming in. You're all excited about school, right? Yeah. yeah. They are. <laughs> Cheering them? No. All right. Good for you. We'll have your complete uh, forecast and the answer to this in the next half hour. Sharon All right, Scott. John. There was an age when you looked forward to school. Yeah, there was. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us. Laser eye surgery, extremely popular these days, but there are several types of laser surgery available. Coming up, find out about a new procedure that requires no cutting of the cornea. Also, find out how doctors plan to cut down on the amount of C-sections performed in America. That's still ahead on News 3 at noon, where news comes first. Only on Channel 3. Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. 
But whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give him will become in him a spring of water, welling up to eternal life. For a free video on the life of Jesus Christ, call 1-800-JESUS-2001. A gift from Churches with a Heart. It's been said that life is a road. And it's not always a smooth one. For every bump, there's UMC. With 16 centers of excellence. Each with its own specialty. Each developed to keep you rolling along. University Medical Center. Welcome back. A new type of laser vision correction is helping patients live lens-free. It's called laser thermal keratoplasty, or LTK. It can help also correct farsightedness in some patients. During the procedure, patients actually cut, uh, they're, they're avoid the cutting of the corneal. During the procedure, they sit upright and focus on a yellow light using a laser. The surgeon actually applies an inner ring of eight spots and an outer ring of eight spots. Now, LTK involves no cutting of the corneal flap or the removal of corneal tissue. Recovery is minimal, but unlike LASIK, the most popular type of laser surgery, patients who have LTK will not notice an immediate dramatic change in their distance vision. It might take a month or more for the vision to actually improve. Right now, LTK is only able to correct low degrees of farsightedness. There's a move in this country to reduce the number of cesarean sections, but when there's a problem with the baby's heart rate during labor, most doctors will not risk cerebral palsy or other brain damage, and so they do the C-section. Dr. Max Gomez reports on a new device that may help reduce those C-sections. Luis Antonio Vasquez Jr. is about as content as any two-week-old is when he's being fed. He's clearly unaware of the excitement and drama that surrounded his birth beginning when his mom was in labor. They decided to put the monitor because every time I would have my contraction, his heart rate would drop. I was worried, I was concerned, to, I, was, I was mostly worried to find out if he was gonna come out healthy. A standard fetal monitor goes on mom's tummy and produces a paper tracing like this. It's one of the few ways doctors have of telling whether the baby is having problems during the birthing process. Drops or decelerations in the baby's heart rate that seem to be persistent and consistent over here. Trouble is, it's a relatively crude indicator of fetal distress. And we make assumptions based on that whether a baby's doing well or not. Unfortunately, a lot of the times that we assume a baby's not doing well, it actually is quite well. But doctors can't risk that, so a slowing on the monitor often leads to a cesarean section to deliver the baby before it can suffer irreparable harm. That's where this device comes in. It's a monitor that uses light to give a much better indication of how baby's doing. We insert the monitor through the cervix, through the vagina and the cervix, and the monitor is then, the sensor is placed against the baby's cheek. The system has a uh, sensor right here that will uh, re send a light wave out that's reflected back, and through that we're able to uh, detect the degree of oxygen concentration in the baby's blood. If baby's oxygen concentration stays above 30 percent, doctors are reassured that they can safely avoid a C-section. Actually, we've decreased the rate of cesarean sections for the indication of fetal distress itself. Natural birth, he was healthy, and I was happy all about that. I'm Dr. Max Gomez for NBC News. That 30% oxygen the reporter was talking about in the baby may sound pretty low if you're used to seeing normal adult oxygenation levels well into the 90s. The difference has to do with the way the light measures baby's blood and the fact that the baby has different hemoglobin than adults. The fetal oxygen monitor won't always prevent a C-section, but sometimes it will confirm that there's a problem and then doctors know they have to act quickly. Either way, it's added safety for baby as well as mom.
A tourist who caused a deadly crash after partying all night in Las Vegas pleads guilty. Coming up, find out what the children of the couple who were killed have to say about her plea. Also, gas prices are back on the rise. We will tell you why. And it was one of the top vocal groups in the 1950s. That's right. The Platters will be right here. The News 3 studio. All this and more coming up in the next half hour of News 3 at Noon. I'm Nina Radicic. Stem cell research has been a hot topic in the news, and today one young girl may get a second chance at life because of it. Heard me yelling in the office, and I got the email that said it was a match. How stem cells are saving lives today at 4. I admit it. I'm a talker. I like to stop and help customers. Yeah, I help you. Regale them with stories about produce. You want to look for two things when you're looking for a good cantaloupe. Share my knowledge and experience with them. You want nice, thick webbing? Help them pick the freshest, the ripest produce possible. With a produce department like this, it's easy to make everyone happy. This week, take home tender New York steak for just $3.29 a pound with Bonds Club. And sweet, juicy, seedless watermelon is only $1.99 each with Bonds Club. You know, folks, life is beautiful, especially when you own an RV. So come on out to Wheeler's Las Vegas RV and enjoy our beautiful model clearance sale going on right now. And you know, doggone well, we'll get the numbers right. A typical day in the stock market means buying, selling, and oftentimes losing. If you worry about the inconsistency of the stock market, you should consider investing in deeds of trust. With Festin, you get a program designed to provide monthly checks. With the stock market, you can make money one day and lose it the next. So don't risk your future on a bet. Call Festin today and start enjoying the peace of mind you've worked hard for. Arctic chill, an even colder dentine ice gum. Cool breath, fresh breath like never before. Dentine ice, Arctic chill, ice at its coldest. Sure, our apples are incredibly fresh. But so are our prices. This week at Albertsons, Save on Thompson Seedless Grapes, just 57 cents a pound. 18 packs of Budweiser, Coors, and Miller beer, just $8.99. And Farmer John Meat Wieners, just 87 cents for a 16-ounce package. Looking for thousands of bonus buys? Albertsons. It's your store. This is News 3 at Noon with Sue Manteras and Scott Hawes. And welcome back. I'm Shara Kimiko in for Sue Manteras. Nearly eight months after a deadly accident, a 22-year-old Illinois tourist learns she will spend six years in a Nevada prison for causing a deadly crash. Yesterday, Melissa Biba pleaded guilty to drunk driving and causing a crash that killed a local couple on I-15. News 3, Steve Krupe spoke with the victim's children who say they are not very happy at all with the plea bargain. <laughs> what can I say to change things to bring my, my parents back? Nothing. Cynthia Pippen and her brother Rick Scott lost their parents in January. Dick and Carlene Scott died when their pickup truck was hit on I-15 by a young woman in a Corvette who later told police she was in a hurry to catch a flight. Now, Melissa Biba is admitting her guilt on two counts of felony drunk driving and will spend at least six years in prison. No way. There's no way that's enough. I mean, that's not even close. Because I'm 36 and that's it. I don't get any more parents the rest of my life. I am glad that she did change her plea today. I'm glad that um, this didn't go on another couple of months. Uh, I wish there was a trial. It would have been tough, but she would have been faced with all the evidence. Rick Scott says he will testify at Biba's sentencing hearing, and he plans on bringing his parents' ashes with him to the courtroom when he asks the judge to give more than just a minimum sentence. Steve Krupe, News 3. Except for a few days in jail, Melissa Biba has been out on a $250,000 bail. She will be allowed to stay out until the official sentencing in October. The sentencing phase of a convicted murderer's trial is wrapping up right now in a Dallas courtroom with George Rivas taking the stand this morning, speaking in his own defense. Rivas is the man who led a gang of violent escapees known as the Texas Seven 
a South Texas, or rather led them from a South Texas prison on a spree of armed robberies that included the shooting death of a Texas police officer on Christmas Eve after the group robbed a sporting goods store. Six of the escapees were caught in January in Colorado. One man committed suicide rather than surrender. Prosecutors contend Rivas is a chronic liar who killed to avoid returning to prison. On the witness stand today, Rivas launched a nearly two-minute monologue elaborating on his confession and looking to his future. I don't want to just exist anymore like an animal in prison. So what you call the death penalty, I call it freedom. I can finally be free. So. I'm telling you right now, I don't want another life sentence. I mean, no more time is going to affect what I already got. Now, when Rivas escaped, he was serving 17 life sentences for two robberies, along with one other life sentence for violating probation. We just got word right now, again, as this was wrapping up, the jury has sentenced Rivas to the death penalty. People across the country are mourning the death of Aaliyah. The remains of the R&B singer are now in the United States. A plane carrying her body arrived at the Newark Airport in New Jersey yesterday. She died in a plane crash along with eight others last weekend in the Bahamas. Aaliyah was only 22 years old. She got her start right here in Las Vegas. She is the niece of legendary singer Gladys Knight, and the two performed together when Aaliyah was just 11 years old. I really enjoyed working with her, and she was beautiful, of course, and everybody loved her, and we would sit down and talk, and and um, share ideas and, and what I thought about the business, things that I had learned, and it was quite an experience. Aaliyah was nominated for two Grammy Awards. She had a platinum album and several high-profile movie roles. And there are some new developments surrounding that tragic plane crash. It turns out the pilot of that plane, Luis Morales III, was recently charged for cocaine possession and may not have been authorized to fly that plane. Morales pleaded no contest to the drug possession charge just 12 days before the crash. He was a certified pilot hired to fly the plane just two days before the crash, but officials with the FAA say they do not have any records authorizing him to fly the plane for the operator. The cause of the crash is still under investigation, although engine failure and overloading of cargo are two theories being considered. Higher gas prices may be here to stay for a little while. Industry data shows. U.S. gas inventories are dropping fast just before the Labor Day holiday. That means just as consumers will flock to gas stations to fill up, there's less gas to go around and more to cause to raise the price per gallon. Gas prices nationwide are up less than a penny from a year ago. The latest Lundberg survey of prices has gas at about $1.51 per gallon. That's up six cents from two weeks ago. Federal safety leaders are pushing for tougher standards for bus and truck drivers. They want the drivers who hold dozens of lives in their hands each day to undergo more thorough physical exams to make sure their own lives aren't in jeopardy. Robert Hager has more. After a series of fatal bus accidents blamed on drivers with severe health problems, the National Transportation Safety Board calls for tougher medical screening of the nation's 9 million bus and truck drivers. NTSB Board Chairman Carol Carmody. Medical personnel need to report unfit drivers to the proper authorities. That will get them the proper treatment and get them off the roads. The investigation after a New Orleans crash two years ago kills 22 elderly people on a Mother's Day outing, including Shirley Golf. Her son, Lucian, now. It, it's been hard. It's been very difficult. Investigators believe the driver passed out at the wheel. He'd been hospitalized 10 times for heart and kidney problems. I found that amazing that he'd had so many different medical exams, but nobody was getting the information. There was no evaluation, and no evaluation was passed on to people in a position to do anything about it. Now, the NTSB says the whole system for medical checks of bus and truck drivers needs to be overhauled that it's too lax and needs to be tightened. Lucian Golf feels action could give meaning to his mother's death. Yes, we would feel uh, this incident uh, and the loss of my mom does mean something or, or would mean something and that uh, change has been made and that it, it won't go for nothing. Investigators do say these new tougher standards would be able to save lives right now.
Are you looking to make vacation plans for winter break on winter break? Exactly. That's coming, true. Up, coming up next, our friends from Prestige Travel are here to give us some ideas for all of the planning. What's coming up? Stay with us. Join News 3's Mitch Roberts and catch the thrills and chills of local high school football. Now you guys are getting highlights of every game, aren't you? Sir, yes, sir. Operation Football is brought to you by Sunrise Medical Hospital, Sprint Yellow Pages, and Channel 3. Every game for you to see. Right in that's on Channel 3. Operation Football on 3. Made you look. Made you look again. Made you look great. Look your best and enroll for only $5 now at the Las Vegas Athletic Clubs. Bay Call Alert. New information has just been released about the harmful and deadly effects of the anti-cholesterol drug Baycol. Baycol can cause severe muscle weakening, muscle soreness, kidney damage, and even death. The risk is especially high for women over 65 years of age. If you or a family member have taken Baycol and suffered any side effects, call Bernstein and Associates today at 384-4000. Feel the magic come alive with a stage spectacular splash at the Riviera Hotel and Casino. You've seen them ride three, 700 times a year they race four. Now, this Labor Day weekend, witness the most fear-defying act of its kind. Five motorcycle daredevils in a sphere of metal mesh. Guinness World Record holders, Bell of the Box Riders of the Thunderdome. In Splash, will they make it? One night only, Saturday, September 1st. For tickets, call for Splash. Get furniture from major Las Vegas hotels as low as 10 cents on the dollar. I'm Happy Harry, and welcome to Quality Liquidators. Easy credit. I trust everybody. Quality Liquidators. I make everybody happy. Welcome back. We were talking about winter vacations already upon us, and we're still in the summer. Joining me now is John Berman and the president of Trafalgar uh, Tours, right, is Gavin Tallman. We're uh, here to talk about some of the tours that we can take for the winter vacations, and why Trafalgar okay. Tours? Well, Trafalgar, you know, uh, Trafalgar gives you peace of mind. Uh, we are companies been giving people the opportunity to travel with us mm -hmm. around the world for the last 50 years. And they can do that with the safety of knowing that we'll take care of all of their vacation plans simply and seamlessly. So what are the benefits for the kids and the parents going together on these winter vacations besides just the family bonding time that well, they get? Well, sure. That's actually one of the greatest opportunities for them. You know, we have seen over the last few years this has become a trend on escorted vacations, escorted tours. You know. Uh, typically, over the last few years, a lot of people have imagined escorted tours to be, you know, those multi-destinational, mm -hmm. traveling very rapidly, not really seeing anything. And that trend has been shifting very dramatically over the last number of years, and Trafalgar has really headed that trend up. And basically, we have created a number of different types of tours, mm -hmm. which meet some of them, which meet exactly that new trend that you spoke about, family vacations. And what happens and what we've seen it and how we've seen it work effectively is you know, grandparents traveling with their grandkids, three generational travel, grandparents, parents, and basically, and the grandkids. And basically what it's enabled that to happen is you can do it and family can travel together having a great time without having to worry about the hassles mm. of putting together a vacation, having to, you know, the driving is taken care of, the check-in is taken care of, everything is done for you and still see the sights you want to see. And it's such a relief because if you've gone on a vacation with your family, looking after all of the kids, figuring out where you're going to eat, it can be an absolute nightmare sometimes. Actually, we were just talking about Sue Manteris went on one of these escorted tours, didn't she, she did. with her family? She did. She had a great time. And Trafalgar, what we have done actually is extended it. You know, typically uh, in the summer months is when most people like to travel. And I know one of your questions was obviously winter, the winter period. Sure. And Trafalgar, eight years ago, started what's become a great and very popular trend mm -hmm. of allowing people to travel in the off-season. And basically what it enables you to do is see all the same sites, um, but for a couple of great opportunities, less money and less crowds, and you'll do it for a lot less money. 
and just very quickly, John, then give us some prices of what we can possibly afford. <laughs> oh, you know, everything is affordable, especially with the strong dollar right, right. now in Europe. But Paris, four nights um, from two ninety nine per person. Wow! Just add the air to that, which is on sale during the winter as well. Um, London two fifty. There's ten day tours from six ninety nine. There are so many values out there. That's the time right now. That's great. If you have a destination you've always wanted to go to, now's the time to call Prestige and do that. Those are really good prices. So the extended tours, the great prices, you cannot pass it up. So thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. We appreciate it. And of course, if you would like to know anything else about Prestige Travel or uh, the escorted vacations with uh, Trafalgar Tours, just go onto our website and click on the icon there for Prestige Travel. And with that, we'll be right back after the break. Seems the older I get, the more I appreciate the simple things, like this beautiful day. And I'm not about to let having diabetes slow me down. Thank goodness Medicare reimburses for diabetes testing supplies. But getting my supplies wasn't always so simple. Making special trips, waiting to be reimbursed, those confusing forms, even finding the supplies I wanted. Thanks to Matria Healthcare, now I'm spending less time at the pharmacy and more time doing what I want to do. Matria delivers the testing supplies I want right to my door, with no forms to fill out and no upfront expenses. Why, with Matria Healthcare, getting my supplies is easy. If you have diabetes, are 65 or over, and on Medicare, Matria Healthcare can make getting your testing supplies a lot simpler, too. Call Matria Healthcare today and choose the testing supplies you need with no confusing forms to fill out, no upfront costs, and your shipping is free. But Matria gives you more than just brand name supplies. Call Matria Healthcare now and you'll also have your own highly trained personal care coordinator. Someone who will get to know you, the supplies you need, your testing schedule, and the brands you prefer. Matria Healthcare has been in business over 25 years. That's experience you can trust, and your satisfaction's always guaranteed. Sign up now and get this free welcome kit with a Medicare coverage guide, a logbook for tracking your blood sugar, and delicious recipes. You know, having diabetes isn't simple, but with Matria Healthcare, getting my supplies is. Get your testing supplies delivered free with no forms or upfront costs, plus a free welcome kit. Call Matria Healthcare today. This portion of the news is brought to you by your local Toyota dealer, where you'll find truly dramatic savings. A key player for the Clark County Fire Department is retiring. Josie the Arson Snipping Dog has been tracking down criminals for a decade, but now she's hanging up her collar and her leash. That, <laughs> just, that picture just killed me. I love that picture. The 11-year-old Yellow Lab has helped investigators on 250 cases with a 90% conviction rate. In the past, Josie has been able to sniff out drops of gasoline in a parking lot that have been there for more than 18 days. <laughs> that she picture is so cute. Is the, and it's amazing to just think how much dogs or animals in general do for us, but you think of police dogs and, and then we have fire dogs and we have guide dogs and there's so many and different things awesome that these, these and pets incredible. can do. They are great and better than John Fredericks and Jordan. Man's best friend, a man in the generic sense. Sure. I mean people, okay. Don't call him, we, we women like him too. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's just, that's just the saying, all right? I didn't make it up. Uh, okay, I'm probably old enough, but I didn't. 98 degrees, 22% humidity, wind southeast 16, gusting to 24, barometer falling 2977. Our uh, Wells Fargo WeatherNet Center at Flamingo and Sand Hill, also 98 degrees, 16% relative humidity. By the way, we do have a winner for the facts, so in case you're still dying, if you're within two to three minutes, we're usually going to have a winner just to save you a little bit of time. 72 up on the mountain, 95 over the hump, 104 Laughlin, 88 Boulder City. The Back up here, 94 Boulder City. Okay, my mistake, my bad, okay? Takes me a couple days to kind of work back into things, folks, to reassimilate. 94 Spring Valley, 93 at the region of Las Vegas, 98 East Las Vegas, 98 in Henderson. All right, here's your forecast for today, tonight, and manana. 103 today, locally breezy, you're already seeing that. 76, beautiful tonight. 
That's almost 10 degrees cooler than this morning and 100 tomorrow for the back to school kids. Wonderful stuff. It's going to be a great morning to send the kids back to school weather-wise. 109 yesterday, 100 is the average. So we say goodbye to these at or near record high temperatures. They're gone. They're going to stay gone through the extended period and probably beyond the sunset this evening at 713. Let's get you all the way through the answer to the Fredericks fact. It does include your weekend forecast. The monsoon moisture, you saw some of those clouds firing up around our area yesterday, and we are seeing a few of the fair weather cumulus clouds. There's still a little bit of moisture out there. You might actually feel it. If you're sensitive to that, the bones may be creaking a little bit. There's, uh, there's a little bit of moisture, but it's going to get shoved off to the east by a series of fronts, and this is the big one. This is the huge, the big giant dip in the jet stream that's going to force down some cooler air from the Gulf of Alaska, but it's also going to provide us with some locally breezy conditions, particularly in the afternoon over the next couple of days. That is the trade-off. 72 in La La Land, that's along the coast at LAX. So you get the uh, coastal onshore marine layer, the sea breeze as we call it. 67, same scenario in San Francisco. 90 Kingman, 77 in the higher elevation Flagstaff. 98 in Phoenix, same as us, 98 degrees. All right. The temperature readings all the way through Labor Day now are going to stay right around average. And you saw the average is about 100 and it's coming down. So we're going to be have a double digit average over the next couple of days. So we are definitely on the backside of summer. Of course, Labor Day weekend is the unofficial end of summer. 78 up on the mountain today and locally breezy along the ridge tops. Now the winds are going to start becoming a factor in the afternoons over the next few days for Lake Mead and the Laughlin recreational area. So keep that in mind, you boaters and jet skiers. Here's your five day forecast. 103 locally breezy, 100 and locally breezy tomorrow afternoon, and then double digits possible Friday and Saturday. It is possible we may not get out of double digits tomorrow, and I certainly don't think that's gonna break anyone's heart. This hour's edition of the Fredericks Fact. Yes, it, indeed, it is somewhat of a trick question. On a clear day, you can see five states from the Empire State Building, New Jersey, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and... Alaska, of course. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> perhaps, of course, New York. New York, of course. Of course. There you go. There you go. Okay. Uh, congratulations to Luann Elder called in from uh, up in Overton. First time winner and she's, just, she's never won anything before. She is so thrilled. She's going to see um, the Marvelettes, Cornell Gunther's uh, coasters and the platters. And they are just, I'm telling you, they are putting on a wonderful show nightly over at the New York, New, New York. York. New York. That's their new home. And she's also got this wonderful gift certificate for the Big Western Legends Roundup up in Kanab, Kanab Utah. That's happening September 6th, 7th, and 8th with uh, all show tickets, also um, food tickets, and lodging. She's so got she, a great camp. She is yeah. really, really thrilled, thrilled. Okay, there you go. I want to I sing. Are they oh, yeah, coming? Yeah, speaking of the platters. You want to sing? We'll, we can we'll fit let you, you in. We can fit Johnny. And of course, he's talking about a group that sold over, and there we go, over 120 million records with dozens of hits. That's right. And the Platters are coming up next live oh, in our yes. studio on News 3. I'm a great For News Comes First. <laughs> magic touch. It makes me glow. Planning to sell your home or condo this year? You're probably wondering how much it's worth. You can find out free on the web at housevalues.com. So if you're planning to sell, visit housevalues.com today. That's housevalues.com. Discover the difference today at Nevada's only price centers. They come and they want to greet you and, 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 and ease you in. They don't just jump on you, hey, you want to buy a car? And I'm very, very happy. I'm overwhelmed that I could sit down and get my paper, paperwork done so quickly. I was able to come in and within a half an hour to 40 minutes, I was out the door. Randall Cunningham made the switch to Nevada's only price centers. That's Fairway Chevrolet and Henderson Chevrolet. There's something going on here you might consider amazing because we don't accept the idea that high need schools can't produce great students. These kids are learning. As part of our Smart Start partnership, we support 56 high-need elementary schools in helping turn these kids into achievers with new computers, programs that improve handwriting and other skills, and incentives to stay in school. Station Casinos is helping a lot of kids get a smart start. You can too. Call and learn how. When you get hurt in a car wreck, you get lots of advice. But advice won't get you your money. What? 
You're gonna need the heavy hitter. That's me, Glenn Lerner. I know about the money the insurance company isn't telling you about. And that's more for you. And you can usually get it faster. Don't let the insurance company throw you a curveball. They know they gotta pay. Rx, make one call, that's all. Call 877-1500 and let me hit a home run for you. I'm Glenn Lerner, the heavy hitter. Simply the best. It's back. The $175,000 house payoff party at Sam's Town Hotel and Gambling Hall. We're giving away $15,000 every weekend in September. Plus, a $100,000 grand prize on Sunday, September 30th. Simply the best. Let Sam's Town pay your house off this month. Complete rules and details available at the Prime Reward Center at Sam's Town Hotel and Gambling Hall. Simply the best. Planning to sell your home or condo this year, you're probably wondering how much it's worth. You can find out free on the web at housevalues.com. So if you're planning to sell, visit housevalues.com today. That's housevalues.com. Welcome back. Look at that. Scott Hawes and the Platters. Not right. Isn't that great? <laughs> no, actually. <laughs> John pointed out the obvious, but we're here with uh, the Buckram Platters. Is, that, is it fair to say that? Sure. Can yes, we say that? And, and once I introduce you, first I want to introduce everyone. Paul B. Allen the <laughs> third. <laughs> Julie Harris. We have Tyrone Sweet. And Joel Gaines, is that correct? Yes. There we go. Now explain to people the differentiation because some people know that there are several segments or fragments of the original platters that they grew up with or that their parents grew up with in the 50s. Okay, well, well basically what's happening is that um, the platter started off by signing with a management company back in 1953, and that chain has basically been unbroken since then. We're the newest members of the original group. There have been some other factions, and because of that, when promoters would call, they'd say, well, are these the Buck Ram Platters? Right. Buck was our manager and exactly. our songwriter, and they wanted to make sure they were getting the real thing. That's so exactly. the name just kind of stuck. And, and a lot of people credit, of course, the success of the Platters to Buck Ram, exactly. again, Absolutely. because Rightfully of so. signing the deal with Mercury Records exactly. and, and, and the success after that. Absolutely. But again, you guys are performing, and gals are performing right. at the uh, New, New York, York, New York, York right? Okay. Nightly. Night. Right, six nights a week. Dark Thursdays. Uh -huh. You're busy. Oh, it's, yeah. yeah, but it's great. <laughs> We're loving it. What are some of the uh, experiences that, that you just have to share with everybody when you go around talking about your experiences as the platters and the songs you sing and, and some of the nostalgia that you bring back for people? Well, you know, people <clears throat> feel it, and, and that's what it's all about is taking them back. I always speak about the very first time that I sang with the platters, <clears throat> there was a little lady in a wheelchair and her husband was sitting with her and I started to sing Smoke It's In Your Eyes and I saw her turn toward him and he turned toward her and she reached out of her wheelchair across the oh, table wow. to him and it oh. like tears well up in my eyes. <laughs> That's when I realized the power of the music and what this was all about. Now, it's unbelievable, yeah. of course. Plenty of hits to talk about. What are the biggest requests, the most, most commonly requested songs that you have? Yeah. Great Pretender, Great probably. Pretender, Only You. Yeah. We close with Only You. Yeah. Ah. That's our finale. Smoke's in your eyes. And how, the New York, New York uh, situation, how long have you been there, and how did that come about? <clears throat> well, we've been there for almost three months now, and uh, they're talking about extending the show while we're supposed to be there indefinitely at this point. And they just wanted <clears throat> to have some live entertainment on the strip. Mm -hmm. You know, everything is production shows mm -hmm. now. So they brought us in. They brought in the Coasters, Martha Reeves and the Vandellas, now the Marvelettes. It's a phenomenal show. Oh, it's yes. a lot of fun. Well rounded. In, in well the rounded. cabaret theater, mind you. Right. Yes. Yeah, the cabaret yes. theater. Same Perfect room as Rita venue. Right now. <laughs> right. Exactly. And so yeah, I'm sure you performed all over, not only the country, but around the world. Yes. And what better place to debut your, your music Lost. and to continue to bring back uh, that history? Then right here? In Las Vegas. Absolutely. Las yeah. Vegas. Entertainment capital of the world. Is anyone is from it. Las Vegas? I live in Las Vegas. Okay. Uh -huh. We like to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> and there you are right there. The All right. Third. The, third. <laughs> the third. The third. <laughs> On screen. But we want to go ahead. You mentioned only you. Of course, John Fredericks was giving us a little prelude a few minutes ago. But we're going to let uh, you take the rest of the song as we leave you here this afternoon on News 3 at noon. So I'm going to turn the time over to you and let you... Thank you. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Platters, okay. Everyone. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> That's right. Only you can make all this world seem right. Oh, only you can make the darkness bright.
and fill my heart with love for only you.